Howdy y'all and welcome back to Yellow Texas. All right, I think it's safe to say that Dallas is known as a busy city. In fact, it's the seventh biggest metropolitan area in America. But within the hustle and bustle is a popular farmer's market in the heart of the downtown area. So we sent our health obsessed host, Kyle, to browse the fresh offerings at the ever so popular Dallas Farmer's Market. We're in the heart of the city for the Dallas Farmer's Market, which has been a staple here since 1941. I got up really early this morning because I heard that's when the best produce is available. So I'm gonna look around and see what I can find at the different vendors. With over 100 vendors to choose from, we spoke with farm and enrichment coordinator, Savannah Nordstrom, to tour us through the Tasty Eats. The Dallas Farmer's Market has been here since 1941. Uh, it started as just a place where farmers could come and bring their goods to the city. And it was on this street where all the wagons would line up. And then over time, they built following. And so they built these sheds. And this is actually one of the original structures. So we have the farmers here themselves bringing the produce. And um, every Saturday and Sunday, we still have the farmers out here. What are some of the best produces that I could try here at the Dallas Farmer's Market? Uh, right now we've got a lot of greens, root vegetables like carrots and beets. I'm excited to take a look around. Are there specific vendors that you recommend that we check out? Yeah, some of my favorites are Las Ruby Ranch, Bonton Farms, Bodark, and if you're looking for sourdough, then de sourdough. Okay, let's go eat. Everything's gluten-free cookies, so they do not taste like it. That's the best part about it. Pita? Oh man, you made my day. All right. Thank you very much. After eating our way through the market and getting a much needed cup of coffee, oh, this is what I need. This is it. This is what the doctor ordered. This huh? is it, yep. We decided to take Savannah up on her recommendation and headed over to D's Sourdough. Uh, I sell sourdough based uh, breads and pastries. So today I have, uh, today is pecan day, so I have uh, pecan brownies. I have uh, pecan sticky buns and I have cranberry pecan sourdough loaf. Ooh, and you make them all yourself? I make everything from scratch, yes. I'm going to eat this with my hands. Pecan weekend here at the Dallas Farmer's Market. How better to celebrate than with a pecan brownie? Mm. <laughs> we sampled most of the foods here at the shed, but there's more to the farmer's market than just produce. To guide us through those other offerings, I caught up with coordinator Meg Perkins. Yeah, so I'm looking at everyone outside of the farmer category, but are still part of the farmer's market. So we have people who are doing artisan goods, so people who are hand making soaps, people who are making dog shampoos, uh, people who are making knitting, making blankets. Um. Well, I see a lot of dogs that are walking around the areas. This is a very accommodating place to have your dog. Absolutely. We also have a lot of people who are selling things specifically for dogs. Um, so we have a couple of vendors who are making their own dog bones, um, a couple of farmers who sell their own dog bones as well. And so we'd love to have the dogs out here. We had a great time here at the Dallas Farmers Market. Just remember to shop local and to support your local farmers 52 weekends of the year. I'll see you all later. Want to cultivate a healthier, more sustainable lifestyle? Head on over to DallasFarmersMarket.org for more information.